Hi everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and we are back with another episode of the WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. This is going to be episode number 5 of the CZW brand, and as you can see we are working towards the Tournament of Death pay-per-view in 3 weeks time. So let's have a quick look at the card we've got in plan for you tonight. We're going to have Sabu being accompanied by Rob Van Dam taking on Tommy Dreamer. We're going to have Bam Bam Bigelow taking on Raven. We're going to see the current ECW champion, Dean Ambrose, who lost in recent weeks to both Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper, now take on the final member of the Wyatt family, Eric Rowan. Bray Wyatt will be at ringside. We're going to see Solomon Crow and Drake Younger take each other on in a tables match. And then in our main event this evening, we're going to have the two hardcore legends again, Terry Funk and Cactus Jack in a last man standing match. So at fair ado, let's get straight into our first match. So as we said, our first match will be Sabu with Rob Van Dam taking on Tommy Dreamer. And here we go with the first match this evening. As I just said, Tommy Dreamer and Sabu. Taking each other on here. Remember RVD is still due a rematch against Jerry Lynn for that television championship. We think that will be held until the Tournament of Death pay-per-view. There has been rumours of even making it a triple threat with Sabu involved. We'll have to see, wait and see how that pans out. But Sabu here taking an early advantage over Tommy Dreamer. The life and soul of ECW, Tommy Dreamer. And now here he is with that running bulldog. Tommy Dreamer now just laying punches in, but Sabu comes back with a step of Inseguri and now... Some punches and strikes of his own. Drop kick to the back of Tommy Dreamer. Tommy didn't feel much of that. He just turned straight around and came straight back at Sabu. And hits him with that jawbreaker. And now Tommy Dreamer just punch into the side of the face of Sabu. But Sabu just flips straight back up. And here he comes with clothesline. A second clothesline. Off the ropes he comes. Went for that big kick but Dreamer avoids it. And with a massive right hand of his own, he's going to go for the pin. RVD's up on the apron here. The referee's been distracted by that. Surely he should keep on counting because Tommy Dreamer easily had Sabu down for free there. Dreamer throwing Sabu into the turnbuckle. And now just an elbow to the side of the head. Now one to the back. Dreamer now has Sabu up. In the power driver, a homage to his great friend. Terry Funk, surely that's got to be all. One, two, oh, the referee. Why is the referee not carried on counting for? Rob Van Dam again distracting the referee. Tommy Dreamer had this one. And again, Dreamer trying to pin Sabu, but the referee's too distracted. By RVD and Dreamer hitting the DDT. Could this be it? One, two. Three, and it is finally Tommy Dreamer pulls the victory out over Sabu. And there's the DDT by Tommy Dreamer. Great victory here for Tommy Dreamer. It was hard work, RVD distracting the referee on several occasions, but Dreamer finally comes out on top. Again, Dreamer might actually be trying to force his way into that Tournament of Death competition. We'll have to swing, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. We know there's going to be quite a lot of people involved in that competition. So here we go into our second match of the evening. It's me, Bam Bam Bigelow, taking on Raven. And we are underway here in our second match. Raven and Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam's had a... A difficult time losing last week to the debuting Eddie Kingston. Be hoping to try and get himself back on track tonight. And it's a great way to start with that power slam over Raven. Raven there avoiding the drop kick and now getting around the back of Bam Bam. And Bam Bam just a kick to the back of the leg of Raven and then that running bulldog. Again, Raven reversing, getting around the back of Bam Bam. 
and there's a running clothesline and a diving headbutt by Bam Bam as well and there's the elbow drop huge punch by Bam Bam just threw Raven straight into the corner and now just laying his knee into the chest of Raven and then there's the headbutt as well Bam Bam bringing Raven back up to his feet Bam Bam throwing Raven into the corner when to follow it up Raven avoids it comes back twisting the arm he's got Bam Bam locked in and he's showing his strength by lifting him up for that vertical suplex and dropping him down hard and now just raking his foot across the face of Bam Bam and Raven with a quick roll up could this be it? one two oh Bam Bam reverses it one two and again Raven reverses one two I'm not going to keep counting these because they could reverse quite a lot <laughs> again two count for Bam Bam two count for Raven two count for Bam Bam again for Raven Does anybody else ever think how frustrating this game is sometimes? I think eventually, eventually there's got to be a rope break somewhere. Still going. Just going to make myself a drink, I'll be back in a few minutes. Ah, oh, finally a kick out. Thank God for that. Bam Bam, throwing Raven into the corner, hitting the atomic drop. Going for the pin, one, only a one count over Raven. Now Bam Bam throwing Raven into the corner. Taking him up onto the top turnbuckle. Following him up there, he looks like he's going to go for a superplex. She does, he drops him down hard. Bringing Raven back to his feet. Went to lift him up for another suplex and Raven reverses it into a neck breaker. Raven looks like he's going to go for it here. Arms outstretched, we know this is time for the DDT. The spiked DDT. Rolls Bam Bam over for the pin. One, two, three. That is all. Raven with a great victory over Bam Bam. And this is the uh, countless amounts of pins. It's Bam Bam going for the suplex, reversed into the neckbreaker by Raven, who then follows up here with the DDT for the pin. One, two, three. Fear the Raven, never more. Raven again is a is a strong possibility for the the tournament of death coming up in a few weeks' time. Great victory for him, Bam Bam suffering successive losses now in two weeks. He won't be happy with that. So now we move into our third match of the evening. It's Dean Ambrose taking on Eric Rowan and Bray Wyatt will be at ringside. And we are underway. We do know that Dean Ambrose will defend the ECW Championship against Bray Wyatt at the Tournament of Death pay-per-view. And Bray is just doing whatever he can to get in the head of Dean Ambrose. We saw Luke Harper defeat Ambrose last week. Ambrose should have really won the match, but just his decisions he used one of his strongest moves on the outside of the ring and then just really struggled to get Harper back in by the time he got Harper back in the ring Harper regained his composure and managed to finish Ambrose off himself Ambrose will be eager though to get the victory here against Eric Rowan 
But remember, Bray Wyatt is outside, and we know he can cause he can cause distractions and problems, can't he? Rowan just picking Ambrose up by the neck. Picks him up in that gut wrench. Slams him down on his knee. And now Rowan picking Ambrose up and he's he's got him up in a choke slam. A huge choke slam by Eric Rowan. Just putting Ambrose into the middle of the ring. Could this be all? I only hear one count. Such a massive choke slam before that could be all for Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose would not want to lose to another member of the Wyatt family. One, two, three, but he has. Eric Rowan just dominating Dean Ambrose. Where is Dean Ambrose's head at here? A loss to Luke Harper last week. A loss to Eric Rowan this week. I think Bray Wyatt is really in Ambrose's head. I think Dean Ambrose's ECW Championship is really, really under threat for the Tournament of Death pay-per-view. As we see Bray Wyatt again, it may have been Eric Rowan in the ring, but I'm pretty sure it was Bray Wyatt in Dean Ambrose's head. So now we move on to our fourth match of the evening. It is the tables match between Solomon Crow and Drake Younger. So we are underway in this tables match. Remember, these two guys have been each other's throats for weeks now. It wasn't until last week that Drake Younger finally took the upper hand. It took him attacking. It took him actually attacking Solomon Crow on the way to the ring to finally get the upper hand. But he did get the pinfall victory. Now these two guys will face off against each other in a tables match. This did start off as a friendly feud. These two were good friends and they were putting together some great matches. But Solomon were winning quite a lot of those matches. And I think eventually Drake just got annoyed. And he seems to have just cracked here. He brings Solomon back to his feet and picks him up in... That sit out Falcon Arrow. Again, just bringing Solomon back to his feet and again picking him up. This time into the Brain Buster. And now Drake on his way out to grab a table and he's got one here. Solomon's back to his feet, but Drake slides that table into the ring. He's got it up there and he uses a weapon and just hits Solomon in the face with it. Now Drake's setting this table up. Drake bringing Sammy over to the table. He puts him on the table. Could this be all? Drake climbing the turnbuckle, but Sammy come off the table. And Sammy with that running neck breaker. I think Drake went a bit too early trying to put Sammy through that table. Now Sammy trying to take control, but Drake comes back just taking the legs of Sammy out. Drake's got Sammy up. Hit him with that butterfly set out power bomb. I thought he was going to try and put it through the table. Russian leg sweep by Sammy Callahan. So I'm getting mixed up now. Sammy Callahan is Solomon Crow. He's wearing his old Sammy Callahan attire, which is uh, tricking me here. <coughs> Drake pulls Solomon towards the table. He puts Solomon up on the table. Will he make it to the turnbuckle this time? He does. He's up there. He comes down with a knee drop and puts Solomon Crow through the table. Drake Younger wins the match. Back-to-back -back victories in this feud here for Drake Younger. As he puts Solomon Crow through that table with a knee drop. Here he goes. Up onto the top turnbuckle and then just hitting the knees. Drake will be happy. He's finally coming out. He's finally starting to pick up some victories in this feud. However, it's taken a complete change in attitude to do so. 
what started off as a friendly feud is becoming more aggressive every week. So here we go now into our main event of the evening. It will be the two legends of hardcore wrestling, Terry Funk and Cactus Jack, in a last man standing match. So here we go with our main event of the evening. Cactus Jack and Terry Funk, two legends of hardcore wrestling, both suspectedly going to be involved in the tournament of death pay-per-view in a few weeks' time. Both looking to cement their legacy as deathmatch wrestlers in this universe mode. Without trying to spoil the magic of uh, of these videos, this is the fifth time I'm recording this match because the endings are always so crap. I'll just tell you now, three out of the five matches have ended in Terry Funk being thrown into the turnbuckle, then Cactus chopping at the knee. Cactus now throws Funk into the corner and drops him in that back suplex. Cactus now throwing Punk in, uh, Funk into the corner, sorry. Funk comes out there with a boot to the stomach. And now the Russian leg sweep. Cactus makes his way back to his feet. And there's that reverse sort of sleeper neck breaker. Referee starts to count two, three, four, five, six, seven. Funk back to his feet. Cactus catches him in the headlock. And into the scoop slam. Went for the knees. Referee going to start counting again. Two, three. Four, five, six. Terry Funk back to his feet. Cactus twisting the arm. Now picks Funk up and drops him in the sidewalk slam. Referee going to start counting again. He does one, two, three, four. Referee giving Terry Funk a lot of time here. Five. He's back up at five. Cactus was taunting. Funk jumps straight back up and catches him. Funk now with the uh, drop toe hold. Referee starts to count, but Cactus is straight back up. Running DDT by Cactus Jack. Could that be all? Huge DDT by Cactus Jack. Dropping Terry Funk flat on the top of his head. But no, Funk is back up. Asked him for more. Cactus with a manable claw. Cactus with a manable claw. Funk is down. That's got to be the 10 count. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, that is all. Cactus Jack defeats Terry Funk in the last man standing match via that manual claw. Almost like a slam at the end rather than the submission. Here's the early Russian leg sweep by Terry Funk. And there's the manual claw that she ends in almost like a slam, like a choke slam. Terry Funk taunting away as the referee counts the final few seconds. Great victory here for Cactus Jack. And I'm very happy. Very happy after five attempts of recording this match that I finally got one that I can use. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this CZW episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. I've got plenty of other universe modes on the go at the same time. I've got six brands on the go. So make sure to check out as many as you can. I've been Shabby Gamer. This is the WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. Thank you very much for watching.